Last week, United Microelectronics Corporation founder Robert Cao announced a donation of 3 billion NT to improve Taiwan's defenses. In an exclusive FTV interview on Monday, Cao discussed his thoughts on cross-strait tensions, as well as his motivations for making the donation. He said he was resolved to not let Taiwan become a second Hong Kong under the control of the Chinese Communist Party. Wearing a bulletproof vest, Robert Tsao was on Monday a guest at FTV's Coco Hot News. His garb caught the attention of many on set. China's Taiwan Affairs Office has declared me a Taiwan separatist. I read comments online that were all saying I should get beaten up or killed. So right now I feel like I should take special care to protect myself. Wearing a bulletproof vest has the benefit of offering protection against attacks. That's the same as Taiwan's defense strategy. We must protect ourselves and increase the cost of a Chinese attack on Taiwan and lower the chances of taking over Taiwan. Cao said the bulletproof vest was for his personal protection, stressing that Taiwan should also focus on defending itself. Last week, the tech tycoon announced a donation of 3 billion NT for Taiwan's defense. In June, my private company paid 1.6 billion NT in income tax. I've put the 3 billion NT together how I could. If I hadn't paid that 1.6 billion NT in taxes, I would be donating 5 billion NT instead. My two sons are not just supportive of me, they are proud of me. Previously, Cao had said that China behaved like a village thug. He had more to say during the interview. I have given it a name, the CCP zombie virus. Within minutes, those who catch the virus look out only for themselves and turn from humans to beasts. They suck your blood out. Look at China's Ministry of Foreign Affairs and their Taiwan Affairs Office. All of them have caught the virus. Cao said the CCP had also infiltrated Hong Kong. He choked back tears discussing the events he saw during the 2019 to 2020 protests in Hong Kong against the proposed extradition bill. When I saw it, I was distraught. Many of my friends were beaten up. Anyone who was in Hong Kong then would definitely become anti-CCP. Afterward, I swore that I would never let Taiwan become a second Hong Kong. Cao's words on the CCP have guarded attention online, with thousands of views and comments on the episode uploaded on social media. With his 3 billion NT donation for Taiwan's defense, Cao's CCP stance has become one of the hottest topics of debate in recent days.